Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about Doctor Who Season 12. Uh, apparently, apparently, some critics are turning on Doctor Who Series 12, especially after the last episode, Orphan 55. Well, I guess I have another episode out now. Uh, but there's a lot of conversation about whether or not the Doctor is too political or can you believe it or not, not political enough. But even mainstream media outlets like Screen Rant and uh, a couple Doctor Who fan sites are coming out and saying Doctor Who has gone way too far, it's too political, it's too on the nose, and the show is frankly trash at this point. So before we get into the video, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We're at about 90,000 subs, hoping for 100,000 soon. Thank you so much for that. Uh, yeah, so I did not expect to be talking about Doctor Who again this week. Um, but the news keeps coming now that the show is out, now that people are watching series 12, now that it's become apparent that season 12 is actually more political <laughs> than, than, uh, series 11. Well, at least the last episode was Orphan 55 was, um, a lot of people are weighing in on it. And, uh, I was surprised. I really hadn't been paying attention to the reviews because I'm like, meh, whatever. Um, but it has really started a discussion as to whether or not Doctor Who has gone too far. It's too political. It's too PC. Uh, and I got to remind you, Doctor Who is not in a terribly good place right now in terms of ratings. The ratings are dropping week by week. And it'll be curious to see where episode four is after Orphan 55, which was the most political Doctor Who episode uh, so far. And many people are calling it one of the worst episodes ever of Doctor Who, even worse than Love and Monsters, if you can believe that. Rotten Tomatoes, Doctor Who is not doing that great, even with the critics, it's 78%. The audience score is 13%, but there was some shenanigans with the audience score. It actually had been locked, I believe, for a while, and then it dropped down to like 4 or 6%, and now it's at 13%. Uh, definitely not good. Do I think the show's going to get canceled? Hell no. I don't think it's going to get canceled. I don't think the BBC is going to cancel Doctor Who. Uh, whether or not they will try to course correct remains to be seen. But uh, it's really interesting. Geeky and I were talking about before I started recording where they were kind of baiting the fans. They said, hey, we're going to return to the classic monsters this season. We're going to bring the Master back. We're going to have the Cyberman. We're going to have the Jadoon. It's going to be like classic Who. And it turns out that uh, according to Orphan 55, man is still the bad guy. Uh, so it's just men in rubber suits, right? So this is coming from Screen Rant. Doctor Who's disappointing episode three shows how to do political stories wrong. Doctor Who has always had political undertones, but season 12, episode three, put across its moral message in a way that hasn't gone down well. Completely agree. I've said before, Doctor Who has always been progressive. Doctor Who has always had progressive themes. You'd have to be blind not to see it. However... They always made sure that uh, the message was delivered with tact. It was never in your face. The doctor was not turning to the camera and telling you you're an awful person for not recycling. That's basically uh, you know, what this episode was. So here we go. Screen rant. Orphan 55 has a number of problems. The plot involved Whitaker's doctor marching everyone out into danger, achieving nothing, then marching them back again because the key to saving everyone was right where they started. They talked about some of the problems with the episode, but they said despite this assortment of issues, the biggest problem viewers had with Orphan 55 was its political overtones. The episode's uh, titular planet is revealed to be Earth in the future, destroyed by global warming. Some fans have accused Doctor Who of becoming politically minded in recent years, but this suggestion ignores over 50 years of moral messages dating back to the debut of the Daleks. This is true. However, however, they're doing it very badly uh, last year and this year. From nuclear weapons and the futility of war to industrialization and the destruction of indigenous species, Doctor Who has always been a series dripping in political allegory and liberally minded morality, and to deny so now is simply revising history to support a contemporary argument. Agree. But where Orphan 55 falls down is not in the message it chooses to put across, but in the execution. This is key. It's okay to have some politics, I believe, and entertainment, it's okay to have some subtle messaging. But when it's in your face uh, and there is no gray area, there's no room for discussion, episodes of Doctor Who and Star Trek always spur uh, spurred discussion amongst the fans. You know, I mean, it was very obvious sometimes what the writer meant, but Who now is basically 
Like we said before, edutainment, the magic school bus, Miss Frizzle is going to tell you what's what. The best science fiction fair, even within Doctor Who, is often based in reality using futuristic settings to illustrate problems facing the real world in any given era. Genuine concerns and real world truths are concealed in fantastical story, etc., etc. Talk about Star Trek, and they're saying they're tr they trusted the viewers to draw the real life parallels themselves without spelling things out. And even Next Generation sometimes could be a little heavy handed, but it wasn't really in your face. And a lot of those episodes, even though they were talking about politics of the 80s and the 90s, they still hold up today because it wasn't a direct one-to-one -one allegory with a lot of things going on uh, at the time. This is not the case with Doctor Who. Doctor Who Season 12, Episode 3 breaks two fundamental rules. Firstly, it alters the show's own mythology in order to better suit the political message. Having discovered Earth desolate and decayed in the future, the Doctor reveals that Orphan 55 is just one possible timeline, directly contradicting all the times the Doctor had landed in the future suggesting that the futures, the TARDIS visits, are just possible rewrites of all Doctor Who canon, just so the episode can drive home to viewers that it isn't too late to save Earth. There's also a strange mind meld with a drag for exposition's sake. Um, the most jarring is the final scene. I agree, I didn't watch the whole episode. I did skip around. I did watch this. Uh, this was horrible. It was, it was, the Doctor became uh, Greta Thunberg. Uh, the 13th Doctor steps almost out of character and addresses her companions as if talking directly to the audience, delivering a speech explicitly from writer to viewer. Such overt methods shouldn't be necessary in a well-crafted story. That's true. Um, that's true. So, look, some of these outlets that would have supported Doctor Who or even like, hey, this is going a little too far. Not only is it going too far, but it's just bad. It's just really bad TV. Doctor Who TV, one of the biggest Doctor Who fan sites out there, a site I've been following for years, uh, has a very similar a very similar opinion. In the end, while Spyfall gave some hope we were moving toward uh, more intriguing places, Orphan 55 feels instead like we've been dumped back into the middle of Series 11. The episode has its heart in the right place, but it needed some serious polish. What we're left with, unfortunately, is a mess. Hopefully Tesla will shock us with quality. Today, the role of the Doctor will be played by Greta Thunberg. I knew it. They talk about how Series 12 is rehashing popular 10th Doctor era stories, but doing them very, very badly. I would agree with that. Uh, in fact, they're bringing back the freaking Jadoon, and there is a rumor that David Tennant might actually put in an appearance this season as the 10th Doctor, which I think is very possible considering Whitaker and Tennant work together on Broadchurch. Very possible that that would happen. But the rumor is that when David Tennant shows up, he will be lectured by this version of the Doctor, uh, telling him what a, an awful toxic male he was. Uh, I don't think anyone wants to see this. I don't think anyone wants to see this. Oh, ouch, ouch. Stray observation. Here's an idea. The next time you want to spend two to three million pounds on an episode preaching to people about climate change, why not just stop and donate that money instead to the cause and help it combat the topic you're advocating? Ouch. This coming from Doctor Who TV, uh, one of the biggest Doctor Who news sites out there. Um, that is harsh. Now, some news outlets don't think the Doctor is political enough. Digital Spy. Think Doctor Who is getting political? You've not been paying attention. And perhaps it's not the politics that are winding people up. According to some, the show is, is too PC now, too preachy, too concerned with ramming an agenda down our throats. Responses to the episode were indignant and outraged, with many shouting that the show had become unrecognizable and that it was uh, far too political now and that the lefties, quote unquote, were in charge. Uh, I actually am, am a left-leaning moderate, so I guess am I a lefty? I don't know. I don't like the show. I think it's trash. I think it's hot trash. Uh, they say this like it's a new thing for the show to have its finger on the political and social pulse. That just isn't true. Uh, no, Digital Spy, go read the article on Screen Rant. They have it right. These shows have always had political undertones, but it was never in your face like this. There's definitely a difference in execution. Uh, now they're going back and they're talking about, uh, you know, Doctor Who and how it's been political, New Who since day one, uh, yada, 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 because what, Jack Harkness is, is omnisexual. Um, yeah, but again, it wasn't in your face like this. It wasn't in your face like this. Um, here we go. The Guardian. 
The Guardian doesn't think it's woke enough. The Guardian does not think that Doctor Who is woke enough. Too woke? Nope. Doctor Who is more offensive than ever. Since returning with a female doctor, the sci-fi smash has been accused of political correctness, but as recent storylines prove, the truth is far worse. 2PC has become a familiar jibe leveled at the sci-fi hit since 2018 when Jodie Whittaker became the 13th Doctor and Chibnall took up the mantle. As well as the first woman to play the title role, their first series featured two Bane companions in episodes about Rosa Parks and the Partition of India, uh, written by Bane writers. The show quickly found itself embroiled in a culture war, with talk of its apparent political correctness becoming commonplace. Uh, see the Twitter hashtag NotMyDoctor. Whitaker and Chibnall were forced to defend the show against these claims before the series even began. Whitaker reminded viewers there's still racism within our current society. I don't think anybody's saying there isn't. I don't think anybody's saying there isn't. They just don't want to see an episode so on the nose, I think, uh, addressing the issue when they're trying to be entertained. Uh, Chibnall added that the doctor and the show are beacons of compassion. Uh, okay, so now, though, a different group of fans are railing against Doctor Who. Far from being too liberal, many believe this iteration has actually lost the morality that made the character so unique and become problematic on social issues it's not woke enough, engaging them uh, to an often aggressive, offensive degree. Uh, let's see, the Masters, the new Masters debut, for example, was soured by a scene in which the Doctor weaponized his race against him. The episode Spyfall saw, saw the new master posing as, as a Yahtzee soldier in German-occupied Paris. This improbability of an Asian man being able to do this was explained by a perception filter, a device used in the Whovian universe to cause others to see what they want to see. Well, that is true. That is a thing. Uh, in this case, hiding the master's ethnicity from the Yahtzees. The doctor escaped the master by framing him as a British double agent, then jamming his filter, leaving him open to both the retribution and the racism of the Yahtzees. The master has done a lot of really bad things over the years. I just want to put that out there. It's not the first time the writing of ethnic and minority characters has seemed questionable. Uh, Grace O'Brien and the mother of uh, Lenny Henry's character Daniel Barton, played by Blanche Williams, were both fridged almost immediately after being introduced. Yeah, Grandma fell off the, um, what was it, the tower she was on with the toothy monster, and uh, that was the end of Grandma. Henry also has spoken about the limitation of Doctor Who's diversity in a radio interview broadcast prior to his appearance in the New Year special. He said the bosses would rather have a dog do Doctor Who than a black person. Oh, my God. Okay. Elsewhere, there's an often apathetic engagement with the political climate. The finale of Chibnall's inaugural series, The Doctor's Companion Graham, played by Bradley Walsh, told the Doctor he wanted to kill Tim Shaw. That was that dumb tooth monster guy. Genocidal alien who had murdered his wife. The Doctor argued that even if done in self-defense, this would make Graham the same as Tim Shaw. It was an especially uncomfortable message at a time when those fighting fascism are often condemned as being as bad as the fat... Wait, what?! It was, wait a second, they just condemned, wait, 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 wait. They just said the doctor was bad, letting, dropping the perception filter and letting the master uh, get his comeuppance at the hands of the Yahtzees. But now they're saying it's uncomfortable. Uh, it's an uncomfortable message at a time when those fighting fascists are often condemned as being as bad as the Yahtzees themselves. For example, in Donald Trump's, re oh my God. They brought Trump into it. They brought Trump into it. They did. I cannot believe it. They brought Trump into Doctor Who. We're on the wrong side of the pond for that. So they brought Trump into it, um, talking about the the quote unquote alt left. Uh, they talk about Kerblam, which was uh, basically Space Amazon, and um, you know they refused to, I guess engage the real discussion about how Amazon treats its employees. Oh my God, the fans decrying the show as being too PC have lost and it's a loss that should not be mourned, but the show has many loyal progressive fans too. The doctor has always been a beacon of compassion and empathy, but too many of us are wondering where it's gone. Okay then, well, you know what? You're not gonna make anybody happy, are you? Doesn't this happen often? Doesn't this happen often when you try to play to one audience? Uh, almost exclusively, and you, you tend to burn bridges with the old fans, uh, chasing a new audience that you're frankly not going to please either because that audience that you're chasing is completely unpleasable. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating, isn't it? So I don't know what's going to happen with Doctor Who. I think the ratings are going to keep dropping. I don't think it's going to be canceled. 
Uh, it used to be my favorite show on TV, I've said before, but it's, it's it, frankly, this incarnation, and I'm not talking about Jodie Whittaker, but this particular version of the show is a steaming hot pile of dog shit, and I really don't want to watch any more of it. Uh, but I might have to dip in and out just to see what the hell is going on. But this is very interesting to see that everybody is Never turning. Dip into the shit. Just don't do it. I'm going to have to wipe my shoes off after that. Yeah, I know, right? At least you're using your feet. <laughs> That's Geeky. Yeah, Geeky does not do the Doctor Who videos because she does not care at all for Doctor Who. Uh, she has. Uh, yeah, you didn't even like Capaldi either. Um, yeah, not really. No, so uh, anyway, I might have to suffer through another couple episodes. We'll see how bad it gets. Uh, it's just, it's heartbreaking because it was, you know, it used to be a family show. We all watched it together. Uh, the kids, um, Geeky and I, we all watched it together and just kind of one by one, everybody dropped off and now it's just me and I'm I'm out too. We know that's not the dip into the shit. Yeah, they know, they know better. They're smarter than I am. They're not dipping into the shit. So we're going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants and we'll talk later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.